a couple years ago, I went to Broken Bow, Oklahoma, which is one of the prettiest places to go camping, especially if it snows. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we woke up the next morning after we got there and everything was white. It was amazing. So of course, we had to build a snowman. Of course, this was a teeny tiny one, but still it was a snowman. And then we built a fire, we had s'mores, we roasted hot dogs, and we almost went down the lake, but yeah, it was still snowing. And then the next day we went for a long, beautiful walk through the gorgeous forest. It just made me so happy. I just love it so much. Makes me want to make a beautiful card. What's up everybody? It's Missy Bar, and today we're going to do a greeting card, but it's going to be a pop-up. So we're going to get started with some scissors, and I already cut some white paper to the same size as my card. These are blank cards that I ordered, and they come with envelopes. Oops, that's not an envelope. This envelope, and it also has this sticker, so you don't have to lick anything. You just peel it off. Okay, so I'm taking this white paper, same color white, and it doesn't have to be, and I cut it the same width. It, I like to leave a little top and bottom just to make it cute. Now I'm gonna cut the pop out, so on this paper, not the card. So I'm gonna go cut to make my little box. You know, we've done this before, right? Okay, now I'm going to make a Christmas tree that when I put it in, can't, so it has to be this height, you know? has to be able to sit here and not go past here. All right, so I think it's gonna be a little too tall, this one. So I'm gonna cut this in half, maybe not that far. All right, now when I make my tree, I'm just gonna do a triangle. So to do that, I fold it in half, and then I'm gonna cut up to the corner, right? I might have to, you know, look at it. If you want all the little ins and outs, you can do that too. I can show you that. But if you just want it to be a triangle, it's real simple like this, that's perfect too. If you want it to be a little bit more, you know, like the trees that they have, you just have to cut in and then across and then in and then across. Maybe a little bit more here. Okay. So now it has those little, you know, fir tree look, right? So I'm just gonna put that there, see if it fits. It's a little too tall, see? So I gotta cut that a little shorter. So it's all about figuring stuff out. That should work. I don't wanna cut it too short because it's very special to the card. So let's see. Yep, it fits perfectly, okay. So now I'm gonna glue that here, but first I gotta decorate it, and I'm gonna add some more trees in the background. This is like a wintry forest, so everything's white with snow. And I made these medium and then really small to create perspective, like it looks like they're going further away, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, I went ahead and put a little border with gold glitter paper and now I'm going to write my message. So I always put a ruler first and then I write my letters. So you can write them in print or cursive. I like cursive so. This one has to come down. And then back up. And then it's really straight. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then I'm going to put love. Oh, yeah. And then I put my name. Comma. Missy Bar or Sylvia or whatever I want to put. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So I'm finished. I'm going to put it in my envelope. I'm going to let the glue dry just a little bit more and then send it off to my friend. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have fun making your pop-up card. And it doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. It can be anything. Okay. So I'll see you next time and have fun. Bye.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.